Now, uh, Cyclone uh, Fani, which is headed towards the Odisha coast, likely to hit the south of uh, Puri on Friday afternoon, has intensified into an extremely severe cyclonic storm. That's what uh, the uh, Met Department is saying. Let's go across to Vishnu. So, Vishnu, today the... Uh, um, the National Crisis Management Committee met. They tried to take stock of the preparatory measures uh, they need to have in place ahead of Cyclone Fani uh, touching land. What does this mean for the NDRF and the Indian Coast Guard? Well, let me just tell you a little bit about uh, what the status is. It's an extremely severe cyclonic storm. During the next 24 hours, it's going to be moving north, uh, east, westward. It's in the Bay of Bengal till the 1st of May evening. That's tomorrow uh, the evening. Um, and then after it uh, moves north, north, eastwards, and it reaches the Odisha coast by the afternoon of the 3rd of May, Ganjam, Gajapati, Khurda, Puri, uh, Jagat Singhpur districts of Odisha, east and west, Medinipur, south and north, 24 Parganas in West Bengal, Hauda, Hubli, and the Kolkata districts of West Bengal. Also, Srikakulam and Vijayanagaram districts of Andhra Pradesh are likely to be affected as per the present indications to so a very large area. Uh, which is going to uh, potentially be affected by the super cyclone. Now, the cyclone, which is now categorized as an extremely severe cyclonic storm, now based on uh, the decision uh, of uh, of the uh, National Crisis Management Center, there is already an, uh, a financial allotment of 1,086 crores, uh, which has been allotted to Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, and West Bengal to assist them in undertaking any preventive and relief measures. So this is something that we need to keep a very, very close eye on. So food, water, medicines, these are all being stocked as the cyclone uh, moves up uh, the, the uh, Bay of Bengal. All right, Vishnu Som, thank you for that update.